Hey everyone, Technomancer here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to pair or set up your Apple Watch with your iPhone 17 or any iPhone on the latest iOS version. So let's get started. So first thing is, let's go ahead and open our iPhone here. And when you open up your iPhone and turn on your Apple Watch for the very first time, when you bring it close to it, you should get this message that says, basically use this iPhone to set up your Apple Watch. Now, if you don't get this message, don't worry. There's also an Apple Watch app that's on your iPhone. If it's not there, you can download it from the App Store to search for uh, Apple Watch app. And once you open up the app, you get the same option to pair as well here. So all you're going to do is select the language on your Apple Watch, select the country or region, and then click on Start Pairing, and then Start Pairing on your Apple Watch. You should get this kind of animation on your Apple Watch. And then here, you're going to set up, set up for myself or family member, whichever applies. And from there on, you're going to point your iPhone camera to this animation here and hold it steady. And then it should basically, and once you do that, you should might get this update software if your software is an update on the Apple Watch, which is a case for me. So I go ahead and click on update and let it update the Apple Watch. So it will take a few minutes to update it here. Now, as you can see here, it is doing the update. Here it's saying it's going to take one hour. Sometimes it can take more or less. But you want to make sure Apple Watch is at least charged to 50% or more. And I'm going to wait for this update to complete before I can proceed. So after over half an hour, so I was finally install, getting this update that I can install. So I click on install now and turn my phone's passcode so we can go ahead and install the latest watch update. So I have to, as you can see here, you have to connect it to a charger and make sure it's at least 50% or more charged. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Now after the software update is complete, you're going to see this message where you can finally set up your Apple Watch and you're going to continue. You're going to choose whether you're going to do it on the left or the right wrist. So I'm going to keep it on left here and continue. And we're going to wait here for it to process this. And then terms and conditions, you're going to hit agree. And then from there on, you want to sign into your Apple account here, basically, so you can get everything from your phone on your Apple Watch as well. So you can click on sign in and then sign into your Apple ID, which I'm going to do now. And once you sign into your Apple ID, as you can see here, it's signing in. It's going to also sign me in into my Apple Watch as well. It's going to be linked to the same account that's on my phone. And then you want to enter a pass, your passcode for your phone here. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that. And if you're going to create a passcode for your Apple Watch as well, you can use a different one. Um, I'm just going to choose not to, but you definitely want to set a passcode there. And location services, so you can use maps and such, you can enable that. You don't have to, but I'll enable it here. And then if you want the text size to be bold or larger than what you're seeing on the screen, you can adjust it now, or you can do it later. So I'm going to hit continue. Shared setting, basically settings on your iPhone will also be shared with your Apple Watch. If you choose that, you're going to hit OK. And then you can do your uh, fitness and health. If you want to add this information, I'm going to keep it as is and continue. And then activity to help um, basically track your activity on your Apple Watch if you want to set up that. And then workout route uh, tracking, which is enable. You can enable this. I'm going to do that. Uh, sleep schedule, if you want to set that up, I'm going to skip. And then all these features that come with it and hit continue, and these other features as well, and we hit continue. And then I'm going to set up later, done up automatically, hit continue. And then you're going to be prompted to your Apple ID account here. You're going to enter your password here. I'm just going to skip it here so you can go through. Same your messages if you want to see it, the messages on your Apple Watch, and enter your password here. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. So, entered my Apple ID password one more time for messages, so it is verifying. So, let's see how long it takes to verify now. And we're good to go. And we're going to get to go. And right now, the syncing is happening, as you can see here. You have to be patient a little bit while this finishes. And we're going to, basically, it's going to give us a notification when this syncing is complete. Uh, sometimes it's sync could take a couple minutes or longer, depending on how much 
data has to be synced between your Apple Watch and your iPhone, but you'll definitely get a notification. You can start using your phone while this process is happening. You'll get a notification when it is done. And finally, you'll get this welcome message, meaning your sync is complete. And I can go ahead and check my Apple Watch and all of it is set up and ready to go. And then you can kind of learn about it and see if the apps are still maybe downloading here. It may take a minute or so, but you will be good to go. And you can start using your Apple Watch uh, now, just like that, paired up with your iPhone. So that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful, so please consider hitting the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.